Quick Actions make the most important and frequently used content lifecycle management features more accessible and more convenient to use. The Quick Actions live in the bottom part of the Page Status Indicator bubble that you can open by clicking the icon. As the information here indicates, we are now looking at an expired page. If it's not you who is responsible for the content of this page, or just want to send a note about this to someone to start a discussion, you can choose the Discuss Quick Action. It opens a dialog for you, where you can ask your colleague to take a look at this page to see if it's indeed expired or still irrelevant. If you know that this page needs an update, you can take it upon yourself and choose the Update Quick Action to open the page up for editing. You can add some new information to this page and save it. And this will make the page up to date again. Now let's take a look at another expired page. If you know that this page is up to date as it is, you can confirm it with the Confirm Quick Action. Just a single click and the page is considered up to date again and the expiration counter has been reset. You also have some quick action options for the up to date pages. If you want the page to be counted as expired after a certain date, you can set an expiration date with the set expiration quick action. Let's choose a date for next week. Now the page will be counted as expired next week. You can also set a date in the past. If you do that, the page status indicator will show that this content has already expired. You can also remove any expiration date that was applied previously. The same options are available for setting archiving dates as well. Choose Set Archiving to open the dialog box for your options. You can choose to set the date for the next upcoming archiving event or a date further in the future. You can also type your archiving reason here if your archiving configuration requires you to explain why this page is ready for archiving. For the sake of this example, I will choose immediately, which will mark this page ready to be archived when the archiving job runs next time. You can also toggle some more options with these three dots, like the exclude option, which will remove this page from under all lifecycle checks. You can also reverse this by choosing Include. Depending on your configuration, you may receive notification emails about content that needs your attention or action. The quick actions are available directly from these notification emails as well, making it even easier to take the appropriate action. For more information about quick actions, review the documentation of Better Content Archiving for Confluence or reach out to us in one of the ways indicated in the description of this video.